I'm Carl Anthony with AutoSense TV, and we're here at the Michigan Science Center for AutoSense Detroit 2019. We're speaking today with Bjorn Grubelich, the product manager for Geo Semiconductor. And Bjorn, so good to be with you today. Good to be with you. So tell us a little bit about the technology that you're showcasing here at AutoSense Detroit. Okay, uh, Geo Semi is a camera video processor maker. So we basically make um, the processor that goes in automotive cameras for viewing and, and machine vision cameras. And so talk to us about the viewing and the machine vision cameras. Why are these technologies important to have? Yeah, so there's a number of reasons. I mean, the most obvious one is for active safety. So um, basically being able to um, add the vision capability to either a computer that's making decisions about you know, whether to brake the car or not, as well as, um, for example, a backup camera, uh, which is really a, a very useful aid you know, for drivers uh, when they're reversing in a, in a parking lot or, or any situation. So you have some technology here, actually quite a bit on the table, I see. So tell us a little bit about what you have and what you're showcasing here for attendees. Yeah, so we have a few different elements here. We have our main demo, which is a, a backup camera demo, which is um, you know, one area we've done uh, very well in. Um, we also have um, a demo for RGB IR cameras. So these are generally interior cameras um, in the vehicle that are able to see during daytime and nighttime. So we're actually able to process the RGB IR um, sensor, uh, which is, is kind of a you know, up and coming um, new sensor technology. And with that sensor technology that, that's up and coming, and how, how would you describe being a leader in that field? How would you describe, how, how, what makes your technology a leader in the field? So image quality is a big one, um, especially for viewing cameras where a human is, is looking at the, you know, the image on the display. Um, so being able to, you know, support um, basically all the sensors. So we actually support, you know, Sony, Omni, on uh, all the sensor vendors, um, as well as being able to support um, kind of novel um, processing requirements like RCCB and, and RGBIR. Um, so it's really a mix, I mean, you, it's, but it's mainly around image quality. And so getting in, along with that thought, with image quality, talking about the backup camera, how important that is for everyday consumers. What are the challenges of developing a backup camera where you might be in a garage and it's dark and then you back out and then suddenly it's light in the driveway. So talk to me about the challenges of developing this very common technology in cars today. Yeah, I mean, basically it's challenging because of the environment uh, that it has to operate in so I mean even beyond backup cameras like for example we work on e-mirror cameras um, where we're you know replacing the mirror with a with a camera um, or uh, you know surround view cameras where we have you know a 360 degree view of the vehicle there could be you know headlights uh, that you have to deal with LED flicker um, you could be you know have a camera that's basically staring into the Sun um, you could have a camera that's, you know, in the vehicle that, um, you know, again, has to work at night. So it's, it's really just dealing with a very wide range of, of situations and, and kind of corner cases um, in imaging that um, it really takes a good understanding of both the sensor and uh, the ISP algorithms and, and additional, um, you know, kind of value add features that the OEMs want. Those are really the challenges. And can you tell us, Bjorn, a little bit about the technology experts and the engineers, and tell us about the people that you have working for the company. Tell us about their background and, and, and what makes them so uh, crucial to your mission as a company. Yeah, so we're actually a very uh, diverse company in that sense. Um, you know, we, so we build the chip, so we have hardware engineers, ASIC engineers that, um, you know, they, they have, you know, decades of experience in video, you know, video, video compression, um, because, you know, obviously these are camera video processors, not still cameras. Um, we have experts on the imaging side that do all the tuning and refinement of our imaging algorithms. So um, we actually have uh, one member of our, our team, our director of um, imaging R&D, Majinath, uh, is here actually giving a presentation. Uh, and then we have you know, all the firmware and all the customer kind of 
apps engineering support you need um, in this industry where each customer may have very specific requirements and it's almost sort of a lot of kind of custom value add features you have to you have to add for tier ones and OEMs. So it's a very diverse range um, you know, of, of, of engineering talent in this company and it's one of the reasons you know, I, I, I love working here and, and one of the reasons we love AutoSense. And I, I can tell by the smile on your face, you, you do love your job. So just walk us through your job. Walk us through a, a day-to-day of what it's like to be a product manager for this company. Yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a, it's actually sp- uh, spans a pretty wide range. So, um, you know, in the traditional product manager role with uh, product definition and, and understanding the market and um, determining what, you know, products to actually uh, go out and build with engineering, uh, there's also a lot of, you know, like partner management, uh, working with um, algorithm partners, image sensor partners, um, you know, going out and, and talking to customers and doing more of the traditional marketing role where, you know, you're gathering that idea of um, what problems the market actually has and, and we can develop, you know, valuable solutions for. In your mind, Bjorn, and we may have probably covered this a little bit, but just to, to cover the point one more time, in your mind, what are some of the biggest challenges in the market? You said you go out, you, you take a scope of the market, you analyze the market. What are some of the biggest challenges out there and how are you responding to them? Yeah, I mean, I think, you know, there are really kind of two sides. On the imaging side, um, it's really dealing with the range of, environments. I mean, these sensors have to be able to work basically in pitch dark, um, you know, still detect things at at night. They have to work basically staring into the sun. Um, You know, they have to deal with these kind of strange corner cases. Um, And then on the machine vision side, I think in the market, you know, redundancy, reliability, safe, functional safety, those are all very big challenges. I mean, that span every every player from you know tier two hardware suppliers software vendors algorithm providers um you know creating reliable and and you know high um asl b to asl d level systems is very challenging um bjorn i want to just in the last few minutes we have left here um I, I don't want to miss anything. So do you have any final thoughts, anything that we may not have, have covered that's still important to mention? Um, I think just that, you know, we, what we, what we really like about AutoSense, I guess, um, you know, it's, it's a very collaborative community uh, for engineers, actually, which is, you know, one of the things I love about it. And, and um, you know, we, we come every year and um, I think it's, it's definitely something I'd like to see like continue to grow, uh, just because of the the value we get out of it and the, and the contribution that you know everyone puts in. Bjorn, I want to thank you for your time and yeah. and for your kind words as well. Uh, have a good show from all of us here at AutoSense. Thank you for being here. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Speaking today with Bjorn Grubelich, product manager for Geo Semiconductor. For more AutoSense TV, like, subscribe, and share. Mm-hmm.